kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part eight of my video series on app to app uh, audio calling using Firebase and Synch SDK using Android Studio. All right, guys. So in our previous videos, uh, I have shown you and we have uh, already integrated the Firebase SDK into our Android project, and then we added the Synch SDK. And then we wrote the code for the Cinch, uh, Cinch SDK, and also we have uh, uh, you, uh, we have written the code for the uh, for displaying all the users inside our resector view, and we have used the uh, resector view adapter for that. Alright, so guys, as I have already told you in my previous video that uh, the part eight will be only for the demo. So in this video, we are, I will try to open and run the app on the phone and show you how it works and if there is any error, so we can remove that. Alright, so let's get started. So as you can see, I already have connected my phone uh, and now the app is uh, ready. And here you can see. Uh, I have already this uh, Firebase open uh, so so that we sh can see the connected users. So let's first of all enter some random email. Let's say android at gmail.com and let me set the password as 1234567 and if I try to click on login so you can see user could not be logged in all right so here as the user does not have any account so if we click on the need an account so here we can first of all create the account so first of all i name it as android user one then i enter the email as android user one at gmail dot com and here i enter the password as one two three four five six seven eight all right and i click on register and you can see user registered successfully okay so it is not uh, going to the next activity so here let me show you in the firebase so here we have this email connected here and in here inside this database yes so here you can see users node and inside that it is the user id and all the details here all right so up till now this has been done so when the user clicks on register activity what should be done is we need to open the uh, main activity all right so in order to open the main activity let's first of all go to register activity and when you can see that user created successfully so here you just need to finish this i mean close this activity and let's open the main activity and here you can say register activity dot this and main activity dot class and we say start activity and we insert i here all right similarly for the login activity okay so i think i have not done the login part or i have already done it okay so inside that we are if this uh, task is successful so we are opening the main activity else we are printing the message that the user could not be logged in all right that is it so inside this main activity here we have got this activity with the recycler view and here we also need a menu for the logout so here we let's click on new and here we can say uh, okay menu let me create android resource directory and here we change it to menu and let's change it and press ok alright alright uh, alright guys so before going forward let me first of all show you uh, and tell you that uh, i was using the this since android rtc 3.13.0 
but it uh, gave me errors so the app was not running so i had to change it to 3.12.9 so if you see in my build.gradle i am using the 3.12.9 okay so you just need to remove that and just add it uh, download this from the link from here i will upload the link in the video description so you need this one 3.12.9 3.13 will not work i'll wait after that let me act, okay and here we need to override some methods so first of all first one is on option create options menu then we have on options item selected so first of all here we can say get menu inflator dot inflate and here we can say r dot menu dot menu and we pass the menu object here why it is giving me error all right guys so i have copied the code and here it is still so showing me this menu so we i think we need to clean the project and then this error will be gone I think there is still the error and I don't know why L let me create a new menu resource file and here we can say r.menu.menu .menu. and inside this menu we need the the logout button uh, the logout menu so here we can say id will be menu logout and let's set the title it to be logout and after that inside this on options item selected we can check if item dot get item id and if it is equal to r dot id dot menu logout then we need to log out the user so first of all here we can check if firebase user is not equal to null it means that the the user is already logged in so we need to log out so here we can say sign out dot sign out all right and after that we just need to finish this activity and open another activity that is the login activity so here we can say man activity dot this and login activity dot class and we just start the our activity all right so i think that is enough for today so after this uh, okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and one thing which uh, i want to do in this video is google let's just copy the application key and the application secret so let's go to change stk or we can say change login and from there we can easily login and get our API keys
all right guys so we are easily logged in so you need to go to apps and here you need to select app call that tutorial and from there we need to just copy all these things so first of all we have the api key let's just copy it and paste it here inside this application key then we need the application secret so here we can get the secret just copy that and paste it here and also we need the environment hosts and this host name will be this so we just need to copy it and paste it here all right guys so i hope that you have understood and you have liked the video if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye